Hello everyone, welcome back. Denver Broncos for Dummies with Dez. Well, if you haven't heard the tragic news yet, uh, Philip Lindsay has been signed by the Texans. Yes, it did take me a while to recover from the news. And now that I'm back, I'm sure you're asking, wow, Des, how are you really feeling now? And how in the world did Philip Lindsay get signed by the Texans? And to answer both of those questions, it's complicated. Welcome free agency into the picture. Free agency period started March 17th, which is the league's new year. So we are smack dab in the middle of the heat of it. Sure. What is free agency and what do we do with it? Well, here's your dummies breakdown. Free agency is basically broken down into three different brackets. You have your exclusive rights free agent, your restricted free agent, and your unrestricted free agent. Now, depending on the number of years you've been with your team will determine which bracket you fall into. And then there are tenders. Placing a tender on a player basically just means the Broncos are saying, hey, we really like you please come back for the next season and we may not be giving you a choice either way. So if a restricted free agent or if an exclusive rights free agent receives a tender, that basically means they're ours. Let's get into it. An exclusive rights free agent is a player with two or fewer seasons and an expired contract. Basically, if you are tendered in an ERFA case, you have the option to sign the tender and play for the Denver Broncos in 2021, or retire from football. Deal or no deal? A restricted free agent is any player with three seasons under their belt and an expired contract. So tenders on a restricted free agent get a little bit more tricky. Depending on which tender you place on the player will determine what you receive in return if another team offers them a contract that you are not willing to match. Now, there are four levels of tenders and each level will determine how much you're gonna pay the player for the upcoming year. You have a first round tender, a second round tender, an original round tender, and a right of first refusal tender. All these mean is which draft choice compensation the Broncos will receive in return if they do not want to match the other team's offer. A first round tender is a first round draft pick. A second round tender is a second round draft pick. Now, an original round tender means that we would receive whatever draft pick that player was drafted in. So for example, if we drafted the player three years ago in the fourth round, we would receive a fourth round draft pick. Then you have the right of first refusal tender, which is what our sweet, sweet Philip Lindsay was placed on. This one means that we would receive no draft choice compensation in return, but it's also the cheapest option. This tender simply means the Broncos have a chance to match the other team's offer before the player moves on. They went this route because Lindsay was under drafted. So, I mean, it, it made the most sense, but the Broncos decided to eventually withdraw that tender so that Lindsay would have a better shot at the free agency market, which he then signed a one-year $3.75 million contract with the Texans, which is basically equivalent to a second round tender. So still more than the Broncos were willing to offer Philip Lindsay. It's just, so, it's just so sad. It's so sad. I'm so, I'm so sad. Last, and most easiest to understand, thank God, an unrestricted free agent. These players have four or more seasons under their belt and an expired contract. They are free of having any tenders put on them and can do whatever their little hearts desire. This is why Justin Simmons was given a franchise tag, hint hint in my last video, it's all a cling there, because there was no way we were tying him down otherwise, you know? Think of them as the high school seniors. On, on the team because we all know that when you are a senior in high school, no rules apply to you. And then life hits you hard repeatedly over and over for the next 50 to 70 years. Ah, oh, wow, uh, free agency. Am I right? You know, after learning all of this information, it makes me realize how much I just miss, you know, just watching football. That's showbiz, baby. Well, that is all I have for you this week. I hope you learned some new stupid football knowledge. And as always, go Broncos.